King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on, Team IKC? It's your boy, I pop, King Carter here. I'm bringing you guys some parks gameplay on PS4 with the homies. We got Shady Triple Zero Eighteen in here. We got Libro Santiago, and we got the homegirl Crazy Girl Eighty Four. Now I know a lot of people are thinking like, "Damn, that's a crazy lineup." Yeah, man, Fantastic Four is out here. You know, we even got the chicken all. That's what we do out here. But nah, <laughs> um, we decided to run a little bit of park early in the morning. It was like early in the day. It had to be like ten a.m. to twelve p.m. It was around that time because um. We had to work with uh, Shady Triple Zero Eighteen schedule, and um, you know he's from the Philippines, so he's twelve hours either ahead or behind us. I'm not really sure, but I know like when it's twelve a.m. our time, it's twelve p.m. his time. So you know he's either up late, you know, on our timelines, or he's he's up early on our timeline. So you know it'd be kind of crazy. I'd be on Twitter, I'd be like, damn, bro, it's four in the morning, but Shady really up though. You know what I'm saying, doing his thing. Now, uh, Libro Santiago, on the other hand, you know, we from the same city. Well, he's from Philly. I'm from Chester, but, you know, same same vicinity. And um, I noticed that, you know, this dude got mornings off. So, you know, I kind of want to know what's his secret. You know, he, he be chilling in the morning. He said, man, I'm always free, man. Just hit me up in the morning time. Word. <laughs> and uh, Crazy Girl, on the other hand, I think she happened to be, like, off for the... Uh, the weekend or on vacay or something like that so you know it was nice to link up with them um i think that you know we should do this more often because um i notice when i do go to the park i never have like a set few people that i want to run with like i don't never got my two or i never got my four to run five you know what i'm saying like i'm always doing random games you know because i'm always playing with subscribers but it would be really nice to join a squad you know and have that core to say yo we're about to go to the park we all play you know on the same type of mental you know playing field you know, you know what i'm saying it's it's real nice to do that like i've played with um a whole bunch of people like shakedown d-man unit i styles um play with mr 2k impossible young c 3100 like i've played with a lot of people that i know it's just you know i i never go to the park saying hey yo i'm on my way to the park let's link up we're gonna do this <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm not that guy i just come to the park to have fun man but um you know i, I think i talked to you guys enough about the park right no 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 i actually want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the park um did any does anybody feel like this uh parks mode is like broken like i feel like the park mode is just I think it needs to be revamped. I'm sorry. Like, it was it was cool to start off with, you know. Like, a lot of people had fun coming to the park, dunking on a few people's heads and all of that. That's cool, but I feel like it needs to be redone. Now, um, that yawn was crazy, by the way. It's like it's like 3 in the morning, by the way. <laughs> but um, I feel like it needs to be revamped. And this is it, I got a few reasons behind that. Um, When you first come to the park, right? You're standing just randomly somewhere on a, on a court. Um, you don't grab no ticket. You know, you just go to a spot and say, hey, I'm going to stand here until I wait for the next game. I don't think that that's cool. I don't think that, you know, you should sit there and wait for guys to join the game because when that happens, you can never get your set guys that you want to play with on the court. I feel like maybe next year's game, one guy get on the spot and then out of the group of people they invite to like for instance it's a group of people standing behind them and they press like a button where all the people's names come up that's in the park and then you hit invite and then he just walks up to your spot and then you guys can all play like if now this is only if they don't make like private lobbies where like either youtubers can go up against people or youtubers can go up against their subscribers or you know friends go up against other friends or other you know uh rivals and stuff like that that's on the parks but um definitely for sure they need to implement something where that wait time it, it either dwindles or take it straight out now um as it goes for like getting to a spot on on parks you have to add turbo like i'm tired of everybody being able to jog 
You know what I'm saying? And then, like, like when I bring the entourage out, we all, like, 30 of us jogging, and nobody is able to sprint to that spot. And then when we get to the spot, like, 15 of us hit the button, and then we all magically seem to just slide onto the court while other people is playing. That needs to be fixed really, really quick. Um, the next thing, when you actually are in the game, I feel like at, for presentation, pref like people's preference, I don't like the way the scoreboard sits on the side. I think that they should have the scoreboard just like how it is when you're playing in the arena on a quick match or whatever. I think that they should bring that scoreboard back. Now, it's cool if you know you want to put guys stats over there. That's fine and dandy, but don't just put the score over there and then everybody has to try to figure out, hey, what's the score? You know, like like for right now we're on offense and we can't see the score. We don't know what the score is. We don't know what type of situation we're in. You know, I'm saying that's that's something that people need when the game is tight. You know, somebody might hit a deuce and be like, yo, what score? Somebody got to run back and say, oh, well, it's 15, 13. <laughs> it makes no sense. But uh, the next thing. Uh, taking a ball out first thing. Oh man, taking a ball out needs to be fixed so much. I feel like with all the park moves that they've made in the recent years, they still need to put a no shooting clause straight off the check. Like when somebody check the ball, you should have to pass it. Just like in real life, I'm from Chester. When we check it up and you give the ball back, you don't drive right past the guy. And dunk on somebody like you don't do that you pass off and then then y'all play out you know what I'm saying that's how it's supposed to be uh, next thing um, these little like dunk animations they're they're cool and all but I think I don't see enough blocks at the park like I see a lot of blocks when it's like four or five people's jumping but when it's like a one-on-one -on -one situation I don't see that many blocks like the dude is gonna get owned whether he likes it or not. But, you know, I just wish that, you know, some of the dunk animations would be able to be stopped in a one-on-one -on -one defensive and offensive uh, presence. Um, the next thing, the three-pointers. I feel like the three-pointers are cool because a lot of people, you know, shoot wide open. But I think that the range itself, like I've seen people shoot from almost half court and nail it. All cash, you know, all net and don't have no problem with doing that all game long. Like, I think that, you know, they should fix the range a little bit. Just tweak it a little bit. Um, Alley-oops. Oh, boy. The alley-oops for the park. I just think that with all the animations you can get, like the freaky animations, the highlight animations, there should still be a way people can actually tip the ball if they're in the lane. Like, I've jumped a lot of times, and the animation would just just suck the ball right up and my hand actually passed like the ball passes through my hand and i'm yelling at the screen because that just happened so you know i feel like with all the an the alley-oop animations at least give us a chance to stop it also give us a chance to block it now i know there are a lot of people that aren't tall enough to you know jump that high but if somebody is doing like a behind the back or between the legs if the ball is exposed, we should still be able to block that alley-oop animation. I've seen a lot of guys, you know, jump and their arm go through the ball and they're like, yo, that was a block. But nope, they got that one point and it's a highlight all day. But um, did anybody peep crazy girl lagging? Yeah, man, she about to bite the dust. Um, A lot of people lagged out on me. They left me there by myself. I was, I was really crying, though. Like, you know, as we were playing and we were talking, I was actually crying. But... It's all good, but it, does anybody notice how ass Libro Santiago is? Yep, I said it. He got to be about the worst in this uh, 2K park, so I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, um, but back to the park. Uh, what's the next thing? The shot clock. Oh, boy. What's up with the shot clock cheese, though? Anybody ever pass off in an inbound and they only got four seconds left to shoot? 2K, what is that? Where did that come from? Is What type of glitch is that? Please tell me. Please. Um, what's next on the list? Oh, how about, you know, if a popular YouTuber such as myself goes to the park, right? And I say, yo, I'm about to play with some subs and like 60 people show up to the park, right? Why in the world can people run on my court? 
if they're under the uh, basket or at like ha uh, at the half court, they can actually run onto the court and just be in the way of everything, just messing the game all up. 2K, please address that. That needs to be fixed immediately. You guys made so much noise about parks mode. You know, after you know you gave us that little cruise thing for uh, current gen, but. If you guys wanted to speak on this mode so much and, and big it up so much, you need to fix everything that's wrong with this mode. You got to fix it all. You got you to gotta make sure that the mode actually works and is straight up consistent in order to, you know, have people say, hey, this mode is beast. You know, this mode is, this mode is dope. You feel me? So, you know, that's the way I feel about that. What's the next thing? Oh, uh, woo. The yawns is real, y'all. It's so it's so early in the morning. It's late, but it's early. Anybody ever feel like, you know, hey man, I'm I'm up early, but I'm really up late. Shoot. I'm tired. But uh oh yeah, let's talk about these steals though. Alright now, I will admit sometimes I spam, but sometimes I spam for a good reason. Sometimes I know that I should have like the certain position on guys, and I know I don't have the pickpocket signature skill, but I feel like, you know, sometimes I do have the, you know, the position and, you know, the timing to steal a ball from somebody, especially in the passing lanes. But what's going to be the penalty for guys that spam on a steal? Like, can we get foul calls at all? Like, I'm talking about go to the line and tally the fouls. Like, I know it's the park. I know it's not regulation basketball. So how about you give us 10 fouls until we get kicked and i mean straight up kick not oh it may kick him i'm talking about uh something comes up on the screen where everybody's screen pauses for a moment and one player has to press the x button to acknowledge where it says such and such has been kicked from the game for for excessive or for fouling out or something like that how about that that'd be dope you know i i, I think i like that option um what's the next thing <clears throat> I would have to say layups have no chance at the park, so I wouldn't do them. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there to y'all like that. Please don't do no goddamn uh, layups because it's going to get ugly fast. But uh, yeah, man, um, I think I only had one player left around this time. I think everybody got kicked. Crazy Girl got kicked. Shady got kicked. Libro got kicked. And I'm just out here trying to be some feast by myself, you know, with one other guy trying to do a nice little comeback. But, you know, you're going to see how the game end. But uh, um, what's the next thing in the park that I want to talk to you all about? Um, what's up with that Sprite machine, yo? That Sprite machine is just sitting there not doing nothing. We can't get nothing to drink. Like, can't get a little animation where a dude open a can soda and drink that drink real quick, guzzle it up. I'm just saying, you know, just... Give me a little bit more, you know, a little bit of something that I want in the game. You know, just 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 a little bit. Um, also the next thing. Um, the court system. Now, I know you guys have what four three v three courts and two two v two courts and one five v five court. Why not make uh three five v five courts, um, seven three v three courts? And probably about three two v two courts. <clears throat> now, I know they guys want to do a double dual joint, but a lot of people like to play three v three and five v five. But I'm out of here, guys. I'm gonna holler at you guys in the next video. Peace. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.